and all is not well with the Bangladesh economy. The IMF said that Bangladesh local currency, Taka, foreign reserves and economic growth are at a risk due to inflation and the global economic slowdown. Now, the IMF statement comes after its recently concluded visit to Bangladesh. In January this year, the South Asian country secured a $4.7 billion loan from IMF amid mounting economic trouble in the country. Bangladesh has received $476 million as the first installment, with the second a part of the loan expected in the month of November. Bangladesh's reserves are expected to fall to $29.86 billion, which is the lowest in seven years, after import payments for two weeks. Next week, exports fell to 16.5% to $3.95 billion in April from a year earlier, as the orders from clothing retailers also slowed down. The inward remittances that helped the country's balance of payments also declined 16% year-on-year to $1.68 billion in the month of April. While Bangladesh recorded a decline in forex reserves, neighbouring India saw its import cover bloat to a 10-month high. India's foreign exchange reserves rose by $4.53 billion to $588.78 billion in the next week, which is ending April 28th. That clearly shows that India stands tall even as countries around them seem to be faltering, like Sri Lanka and Pakistan are the prime examples. And now, Bangladesh seems to be in trouble. Once touted as a strong emerging economy, Bangladesh has been struggling since the pandemic hit the global economy. Depleting foreign reserves due to a decline in exports meant that Bangladesh's current account deficit hit a record $18.7 billion in the last financial year, which ended on June 30th. The government has also raised fuel and energy prices in recent months as it approached the IMF.